let's keep in mind this is not about how good i'm drifting or what have you is about does the wheel spin like these metal parts are apparently heavy and it takes a toll on your wheelbase and that's what everybody's complaint is like don't do this do not mod your wheel it destroys your wheel so let me show you if it destroys it or not Boom. so right here i turned on car x bam right we looking for cars which car i'm gonna get yada 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 so i kept i love that sound when it first comes in <laughs> so again let's see if the wheel spins back to you at 100 percent fast speed there i go on the left hand side boom i'm using the wheel let's see the force feedback a little bit boom right there spun over oversteered pop and look at how fast it's going so the force feedback I'm not gonna lie because I don't know how to do that. It left for a minute and I was going out of control. Like, yo, what happened, dude? I'm like, oh my God, it did. It messed it up, but it didn't. I had to fix it within game and in the settings. But I kept the buttons from, let's say, the Xbox controller part of the wheel, right? Because it has like an Xbox uh, controller type vibe going on it has an xbox symbol for god's sake at the bottom right the little light bling, 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 right <laughs> so the reason i kept that one i need those buttons you turn on the car and car x and different games you need it right so it came in handy i'm not gonna hold you when it came to that now some people don't need it because they have a button box or their shifter they have the old shifter that has a few buttons or the older you know you can have a you can have a fanatic and have a old logitech shifter they work because i myself bought an adapter that converts it into usb that you can plug right into your pc so i've used my fanatic wheelbase with the thrust master all that thousands of dollars on direct wheel drive, not this Logitech uh, situation, right? But then added a major budget friendly Logitech shifter that's right there. Well, you can say budget friendly. Some I paid seventy dollars for mine when I got it. Then I modded it, so I spent a hundred and something. So I don't know what what budget friendly is to some people here. What are we talking about? You get it, or who are we talking about? But when I went into a set of Corsa, I went there to see if you could feel it and how it feels, and it felt the same in a set of. Here's the thing. Now, being on the desk, I don't know if that's too bright of an idea because now it feels heavier. You get it? And now it's, it's shaking the desk. Like, if it was shaking it before, it's shaking it, shaking it. You get it? And uh, I don't know. And I got a lot of things, as you can tell, um, this desk. So I may put it on my sim and show you guys how that turns out once I put it on the sim rig. So, yeah, this is the way it came out. It spins. It looks awesome, I think. Let me know what you think, though. Let me know what you think, though. Poof.